Huh? Jeez, I'm not taking a picture. We're starting the vlog. Can you say happy day? Uh, hi. <laughs> say happy day. Uh, hi. <laughs> Before I cleaned her off, I wanted to show you guys how great of an eater she was today. <laughs> Mama. You really did, actually. You did eat really good. Uh, hi. Happy day. Uh, hi. Happy day. <laughs> We gotta get you a little haircut. So no, do not touch the camera with your dirty hands right now. So she had some plain Greek yogurt, some strawberries, and a peanut butter sandwich, which are all in her belly right now, aside from one little piece of sandwich. But you ate so good. You really did. And then you made, <laughs> was that yummy? You wanted to finish off that bite? Just that last little bite to fill you up? But uh, she got yogurt all over her, all over her hands. I'm pretty sure that uh, we need to clean out your chair because I see about three spoons in there right now, maybe four, and I've kind of just been postponing, <laughs> but that one has yogurt all over it, so we need to get it out. Deal? Thumbs up if it's a deal. Thumbs up if it's a deal. Uh, you're shaking your head? Yeah, so I'm going to say deal. So I had to go out and run some errands today with Micah, and I am exhausted today for whatever reason. I don't know, just one of those days. But the main reason I went out was because I had to get a pregnancy belly. If you guys remember last pregnancy, we had these for a Mentri video. This time we're doing it for a Ladies and Lattes video, so Holly will be wearing it, but I'm also gonna make Austin wear it. I don't know if I told him yet, actually. I'm gonna make him wear it because being pregnant with a toddler is much different than being pregnant without any kids. So he's gonna experience pregnancy, having to chase around Micah, which means one of these next few days, I am gonna be able to just relax and take a break and have Austin do all the things Micah. And the lady that set us up with them, she was asking me, oh, how, how far along are you? Like, how much longer do you have? And I've had a few people ask me this over the past maybe week or so. And I tell them I have about two months left and I'm already like, feeling like I'm done and they always look like, oh wow, like two months left? Because my belly just looks so big and round, you guys. You can't really tell when I'm wearing black, but I just carry everything out front and I just have no room for anything in my body. So the baby just grows out and I look far more pregnant than I am, I think, just based on people's reactions. And just a quick and easy dinner idea for some of you. I know that you guys, every once in a while, will ask um, me what I'm making or you know, what are some of my go-to meals. This is one of my favorites because it's so easy and it's healthy. Here's what it looks like when it's done, but it's just a bag of frozen ravioli. I like the kind that has like the spinach and ricotta in it, just to get a little bit more veggies in. But then I just take a pound of ground turkey, cook it up. I like ground turkey just because it's a little bit leaner than ground beef, um, but really anything works. But you cook the ground turkey up with an onion and I throw some garlic in there and season it with some um, Italian seasoning. Just cook it up until it's almost done and I pour a jar of sauce over top of it, let it simmer until the meat is done cooking. And then I just transfer the ravioli into the big pot or pan or whatever I'm using and it's just a really easy um, almost one pot meal and Micah enjoys it and for me since I like to get a little bit more greens in I put a handful of spinach at the bottom of my bowl and just pour the mixture over top of it and it just kind of wilts the spinach just enough so that it's cooked a little bit through you even is that some yummy food Yummy ravioli. You were hungry. You were very patient. Really good job playing with your toy while you waited. Dad is not home yet. Austin is not home yet. So we had to get started without him. She was really starting to get hungry. You just love being on the camera. You just love it lately, huh? Can you say hi? Maybe chew your food first and then say hi. <laughs> Goofball. Cheese. Cheese? <laughs> you don't like that onion? 
I'm not gonna make you, oh, did you eat it? Good job. You've been a lot more adventurous the past few days with your food. <laughs> Jeez. Go ahead, eat your food. Pretty yummy. I think mom's gonna go get some more too. I've been really hungry lately. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? Hands now? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay. You got it. You fixed it. That's alright, I'll clean it up later. Uh-oh, dropped it. You don't like onions, do you? Good bite. <laughs> no, I didn't say bye. I said bite. I said good bite. <laughs> Can I see a silly face? Oh, that's a good silly face. Whoa, that's a big long silly face. <laughs> Can you say silly? No, don't do a silly face. Say silly. Silly face. Say silly face. Say silly face. Tell me to do a silly face. Tell me to do a silly face. <laughs> You're just too good at making silly faces. Can I get one more silly face before we turn it off? Oh boy, what are you doing with that? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I am stepping in. Do you want some more raviolis? Can you ask for more, please? Say more, please. Tricking me! <laughs> Pretend like you're sleeping. <laughs> oh my goodness, you were <laughs> tricking me! Boo! I <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> uh oh. It's my favorite. It's my, oh, she's been saying it non stop lately. Uh oh! And it's the cutest thing. <laughs> <laughs> me? Me do it? Say mom. Your turn. Ma. Say your turn. No, me. Ma. Say your turn. <laughs> say your turn. Point to me and say your turn. Say your turn. Okay. <gasps> I tricked you. You want me to do this one? One, two, three. <gasps> See the look on her face? My turn? Say it. No, no. My turn. <laughs> now where are you going? You just don't want me to blow on your face? <laughs> you want me to blow it? Okay. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> she ran that far away. So we wanted to kind of just talk about like Not I guess I mean, I guess you kind of call it your birth plan Not not that we have like a specific birth plan right now mm -hmm. But just kind of how we would like to see things go. So with Micah I was induced at 39 weeks and two days if this baby doesn't come by 39 weeks I do see us um, scheduling an induction again um, just because 
I liked how it went. It all went really smoothly. Um, so I see that happening. However, what I would like to happen is to go into labor naturally. Would you really? Yeah. Oh, you're running Either to the my water breaks or I just start having contractions that are putting me into labor. Yikes. That would be like exciting, you know what I it mean? It would like, be. I did love how the induction went. It was smooth, it was all planned out, there were no surprises, but I think it would be like fun, not I mean, yeah, kind of just a new experience to 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 have um, my body go into labor naturally. And the thing with that is I would actually get to feel what normal contractions are like because Pitocin, um, the medicine that they use to induce you, really amps up your contractions. So I don't really know what a normal contraction feels like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never really got to experience that. Only only the induced contractions. Um, the, oh, the only thing that worries me is because we vlog, that is a lot of pressure. <laughs> that is It'll be so fun. much pressure. Just grab the camera and keep it rolling. <laughs> and that's my only concern that's with going concern. naturally is that I would love to experience that. Mm. I would love the panic the sheer panic of just <laughs> like, be more scared than oh I my god, we gotta get everything in the car right now. And don't worry, dad's just talking about baby plans. Boop. Uh -huh. This? Okay, here it is. There you go. Keep counting. Good job. I would love that thrill. And that's honestly. That would be fun. It would be a fun thrill. An before before having Micah, that's what I really wanted. Mm -hmm. but and then having longer. seen and been through the first delivery, I am just like, there's no way. Like, I can't do that and be completely in the moment. And We're still going to have somebody film. It's not like. I know, but that's just it is what if they can't? Like, what if. What if the water breaks then, middle of the night and it's like, it's on me. We can't get oh, that's garbage. so much pressure. Don't put it, don't think of it like that. It's just, don't worry It's about more it. so that I just. If you're worried about it, start brainstorming now what you need to do. Well, I need a GoPro and I need yeah, exactly. to strap it to my head. <laughs> Not to your head. You can strap it to I'm just, my corner of the bed. I'm just saying PG, like. PG, everybody. I just want to be able to enjoy the moment like I did the first time. Like that was so Yeah, so so we are planning on having a videographer for this one to do another um uh birth vlog for birth us. Birth video, yeah. Yeah, birth video. Uh 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 take that out that of your mouth. That is not edible, sweetheart. No. Thank you. That tastes yucky. No. Ugh. Take it out. Yucky. Yeah. Do you need to go sit and time out? Okay, do not put that in your uh uh. Do not put that in your mouth or you're going to go sit in time out. Thank you. I'm not going to go sit in time out. Okay, you're going to time out. Hold on, i got to do a time out. So we have been implementing time outs lately. Um, not often because she listens pretty well. Uh, it only took like one or two times where she didn't want to be there when she realized it wasn't a game. <laughs> because until just recently she thought, oh, time out? Yeah, I'll go in time out. She thought it was a game. But now she understands that it is like a, a punishment, I guess, um, when she's not listening. So we have been doing that lately. And up until this point, when she wasn't listening, um, I would tell her not to do something or ask her not to do something. And if she did it again, then I would say, okay, don't do that again. Are you going to go in time out? And she would look at me, shake her head no. And she would stop doing the thing. So I think like she's understanding the point of timeouts and understanding that it's when she's not listening. So it seems to be working so far, but what do I know? <laughs> so back to the birth plan. Ideally, those are the things that we would like to happen. Um, I do still plan on getting um, an epidural. Play with your toys real good. No, almost be done. I'm really hungry. Could you make me some soup? Can you make Dad some soup? Can you make me some soup, please? Yeah, go okay. make him some Thank soup. You. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny at running. Um, I would ideally like an epidural again, just because I don't know if I can or if I'd want to handle everything that birth has to offer. Um, but with 
thing I'm nervous about though is that my mom's second and third birth with me and my sister came so quickly that she did not have time for an epidural. Yeah. I'm hoping that's not the case with me. But we'll I'm see. hoping that's not the case because then that means everything's <laughs> way more pressure on you. <laughs> As if you didn't oh my have god, pressure. I have to like deal with a pregnant woman delivering without an epidural. You're gonna be driving in the car with a GoPro. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's happening! It's happening! <laughs> Oh man. Oh, nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares of that now the next two months. <laughs> You're gonna wake up. Oh, I don't oh, have the camera no. batteries. The memory cards are all not formatted. Honey, where's the diaper bag? Oh, where's baby the baby fun. car seat? Wait, we left my at home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe we should maybe we should give it a, a dry fire, like a test run? Like a test Did run. Did I just like surprise you one time? But with Micah's birth, we really didn't have like a set birth plan. It was kind of just what we talked about with you guys. Just uh, I knew I wanted an epidural. I knew ideally I would like to avoid a C-section if possible. Um, and, and all that still applies. I was comfortable. I was comfortable with the way everything went with Micah, and so if it went exactly the same way, I'd be fine with that. Um, but the excitement of going into labor naturally is something that I'd like to experience. But it's about bedtime, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and we'll see you next time. Oh, next time, you're gonna be wearing a pregnancy belly. Not excited about it. You should be. Ugh, I didn't like it the first round. I'm it's not gonna like it. Even this harder round. with a toddler, I'm telling you that. Oh, no. Yeah, you gotta take care of my gut that day. No. I get to relax. Oh. <laughs> so stay tuned for that, you guys. Thanks so much for your support and for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye friends! Bye.